obviously at this point Aaron knows that Robert's a bit of a bad man. Mm. What is it that kind of keeps drawing Aaron back to him? Um, well, I don't know. I guess it, I guess it's, it's that the fact that you know he is that um, that that bad boy character, I suppose. You know that you kind of have them in the in the show. You know, often you know you have somebody at home farm who who happens to have a dark side to him, and I think it always makes for a great contrast in the drama. You know, especially with Emmerdale and you know Corey Street kind of soaps constantly moving on. You've got to tell a, a film in kind of a week almost, and it's very hard to do. And um, I think it's it's. Um, it's been so. There's been that that many kind of ups and ups and downs with um, Aaron and Robert. Is kind of you don't realise where you're up to and you don't really um, know if they're together or not. But um, I think it's that 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 initial fact that it was. Um, I think he saw him and and you know like like with him um, like like anyone does in in a club they'll see someone and think oh he's fit she's fit, and I think it was originally that the fact that you know he's an attractive lad and he's kind of looked over and saw him caught his eye and I think. Robert kind of knew that, and he, I think he, he almost wanted to come in on the back of this as being a kind of a, um, like a bit of a mess around, you know, sort of play with someone's mind or have something on the back burner to have as a blackmail inside of uh, instrument or a, a bribery or, or whatever. And that's the kind of person we've seen that Robert is. And I think it's the fact that Aaron's kind of he's so far out of his own depth that he feels comfortable. If that makes sense, you know, this is a whole new world for him. He's used to dingles, you know, getting by and earning a nine to five living and having the weekends off but all of a sudden you know Robert's come into his life and all of a sudden he's very um, he's very much wanting to get into Robert's life and Robert's world and you know so when you when you sort of originally came back to the show mm. last year yeah. was it the year before yeah no last year last 2014 year. <clears throat> yeah. yes um were you sort of keen to know who the writers might be pairing you with and was it a surprise that it was going to be the married <laughs> man um I mean, for me, like we were always so f um, the Dingles in particular, are so kind of uh, big on not being home wreckers. And I think when he looks upon um, the past that Chaz has, has had with with Carl and with Aaron's dad Gordon and all this kind of um, past history of how it's determined Chaz and Aaron's relationship in a way. You know, a lot of this backlog of story has determined how they are with each other now. And although the relationship is still better, a lot better. Um, there's still that moment of, of of what happened when they were when he was a kid and, and Aaron being the person that he has blamed a lot of that on his mum and I think when he's got that history he doesn't want to be that person in such as as wrecking home so we were determined that when I first come back it was going to be um, an affair but very much on Robert's part you know that Aaron's this single lad he's got no um, ties or no responsibilities he's just having a bit of fun but then fun turned into a deep sea dive and, and he ended up being in love with him this secret that Aaron is carrying around basically he's helped Robert cover his tracks over Katie's death yeah. so at some point is this secret going to kind of be the unravelling of Aaron is he, does he want to report it or what's stopping him yeah um, again I think originally if Aaron had his way he's a very truthful and honest person um, and that's where the self um, uh, self harming comes from the inner angst that Aaron has within him of not being able to tell the truth because if he had his way he would tell the truth but with this particular one and, and, and certainly with all the secrets he's kept they've never been as straightforward as just offloading you know they will come with a jenga full of people getting hurt and a, a full amount of people saying you know like Chaz would be obviously the main one in Aaron's eyes because of Katie being a, a best friend Andy of course as well is, is Aaron and Robert were there for him during that and there's so many people that would just end up getting hurt by um, Aaron uh, saying something that it's, he just doesn't feel it's worth it but he, he genuinely can't deal with it and this is where the running kind of thing comes from and, and, and he kind of like you say he's almost running away from his problems but in effect he's, he's running away from his, his the pain he's feeling within the village and he's, he's running away because it makes him feel better which is a fa as, uh, what, what self-harming is is hurting yourself to release the angst and um, I think with this he's got a certain amount of encouragement from people saying it's a great job what you're doing congratulations you know it's a, for a great cause and blah 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 uh, and all this time he's kind of yeah whatever you know because it's because he's going that's not the reason I'm doing it and Katie's gone and you know all the money in the world ain't going to bring her back but me running and hurting myself punishing myself is a reason to, to help that you know so it's quite sad and daunting when you think about it but it's also true true to life unfortunately there are people out there that feel this way so